Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. On this day in 1864, Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler became the first black woman to be awarded a medical degree. Remarkable. In other news... Are you a good person? Let's find out. Moral philosophy is the branch of philosophy concerning ethics. It allows a value assignation of good or bad to your actions. We wanted to better understand the field responsible for all our guilty consciences, so we sat down with an expert. A moral dilemma is when uh, often you are uh, trying to do the right thing, but one rule tells you to do one thing, and another rule tells you to do a different thing. And so you have to decide which one you can't do both. We wanted to know what our classmates thought, so we took to the halls to ask them some moral dilemmas. A madman suspecting of planting bombs that will go off in a short time is apprehended. Hundreds of people may die. The authorities cannot make him divulge the location of the bombs by conventional methods. He refuses to say anything and requests a lawyer to protect his Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. A high-level official suggests torture. This is illegal, but the official thinks that it is the right thing to do. Do you agree? I think in this situation it would be appropriate to use non-conventional interrogation techniques because otherwise a lot of people are going to die and they need to make tough decisions in 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 time in short amount of time. I feel like I would say don't torture him because I think there might be other options still. I feel like anything I think, to get the information out to save the and people. I think we've like our country's already done that in the past, so now torturing is not working, but it is evident that the madman is madly in love with his innocent wife. Is it reasonable then to torture his wife in front of him for this information? No. No. I would draw the line at torturing someone else in front of him. Now, I wouldn't torture his in innocent wife, but I would make him think that we're torturing his innocent wife, because then we can still get the information. Maybe not torture, but like threaten torture. A fat man is leading a group of 11 people in a tour of a cave on a coast. As they turn to exit the cave, he is stuck in the opening, which collapsed a little after they entered. In a short time, high tide will be upon them, and unless he is unstuck, they will all inevitably drown except for the fat man whose head is out of the cave. It turns out that one tourist has with them a stick of dynamite. There seems to be no way to get him loose without using it, which will inevitably kill him. What should they do? They should not use the dynamite because if they use the dynamite, then they are taking an active decision to hurt somebody, whereas otherwise they could just take a passive decision to all die. I'd, I'd kill the fat man because it's more tourists than there are fat men. I could save, you could save 20 people. As there's a chance you got to try everything that's possible. Kill the one guy for the lives of the many. Yeah. I would say, based on it, I would say just use the dynamite. One life is different from a lot more. Or you could blow it up shove him out at the same time, run away, it blows up, nobody gets hurt. Now what if the person stuck was actually a pregnant woman? I sound like a terrible person, but I might have to say use the dynamite on the pregnant lady. <laughs> this sounds really morbid, but I think I might still say like save dynamite. as many people as you could. Yeah, and honestly there's, a st there's still a chance that the baby could survive. Oh, God. I'd still kill her because it's more tourists than there are pregnant women, even if you count the pregnant women as possibly two. Now what if the tourist group was actually a school field trip group with a few chaperones and many young children? I think any time when, when, it, when, it's, when it's people that, yes, that are, that are in the care of looking for us to make those decisions, absolutely. Then the chaperones should use the dynamite because it's not their kids. They don't get the, they don't like, they shouldn't decide other kids' life or death. Thank you for watching and for making good choices. I'm Amelia Tamayo and this has been In Other News. Bye!